But that is what these engines looked like from the factory. Hey, welcome back guys. Today, we're gonna to be working on the engine compartment of this 90,000 mile 84 300 CD. First thing we wanna do, I wanna pressure wash uh, the existing engine compartment, get everything clean and degreased. I've got the uh, degreaser, you can see sprayed on uh, everything, so I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. One thing I wanna point out, you can see how the cadmium plating on these lines is, is faded. It's not very bright and brilliant like I like it. So what we're gonna do is remove all the pieces from the engine that had the original cadmium plating and let me show you guys something. All right, I still have some parts down here in this box, but I've got everything laid out. Here are all the engine compartment components, throttle linkage injector lines, little connecting arms, the ends on our hoses. This is this has all been recadmium plated and we're gonna put it on that car. This is exactly how it looked from the factory. I'll show you a car that I've already done it on to show you what it looks like when complete. This has been recadmium plated. This is a complete car. So we're gonna go ahead disassemble all the throttle linkage, injector lines, all that stuff, and put on our freshly recadmium plated parts. All right, guys, I'll probably do this in uh, fast motion uh, or, or elapsed time, uh, but I'm just gonna pop off all the connectors here. All right, guys we have the valve cover off and timing chain has absolutely zero chain stretch and we can see there's the uh, chain tensioner right down there the guides are right here and I'm looking at the cam lobes these are outstanding condition very clean no scoring so i'll go ahead and uh do a valve adjustment and uh it the car runs like it doesn't need a valve adjustment so i'll probably just check them uh and really not need to end up adjusting too much and i'm also going to change uh these return lines these are uh they look like they've been on there a while so i'll put some genuine mercedes on here and uh, then we're going to start reassembling all of our 
cadmium plated uh, throttle linkage. So right now, I'm cleaning up the valve cover. You can see we have it over here. And uh, it's got a little oil and grease all over it. So we want to clean this up real nice in the parts washer, get it looking good. So here is the, let's flip it around. I think the other side might be a little, a little dirtier. Yeah, there we go. There's the before. And I'll get it in the parts washer and we'll show the after. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna clean up really nice. All right, guys, now this is a uh, four-aught or quadruple-aught uh, quadruple steel wool. We'll go ahead and finish it off with that. And there we go, guys. Look how nice and clean that came out. That is the original aluminum. Now, of course, on the other side, we have the original factory sticker uh, remnants. I usually just leave that on there, but uh, came out very, very clean. And uh, some guys go to the extent of polishing the valve covers, and guys, that doesn't look right. You can polish these, and they'll be bright and shiny, but that's not... That's not how they came from the factory. They were uh, unpolished aluminum when they came from the factory, and that's how I leave them. So let's go ahead, finish our valve adjustment, get a new valve cover gasket, and get this back on the car. Okay, get the valve cover back on. Now we just need to put our nuts back on there. And you can see uh, the previous owner already changed the uh, air cleaner housing mounting bracket and put new bushings in there, so that's nice. That thing's brand new. And these 13 millimeter nuts just go around here. And guys, you don't torque these nuts down. You don't crank them down tight. It's only like 10 foot pounds or so. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of force. Uh, when you put it back on, you want to check your valve cover gasket. You want to make sure that it didn't, uh, it didn't like fold or twist under as you were putting it together. And so always get, always get a flashlight and just go around, especially in the back, in the back corners, you wanna make sure it doesn't fold under and uh, cause that'll be an immediate oil leak. Okay, now we need to start reassembling everything. All right guys, you can see I have a lot of the linkage installed back on the car. Look how pretty that cadmium is. Now, also, as I put each piece on, see these are like little plastic bushings. You have one there, you have one right there. There's one underneath this plastic piece. There's one right here. When you do that, you wanna have a syringe filled with ATF fluid. And for example, before I put this piece on, you wanna lubricate that. There you go, see I got a little ATF fluid on there. That's when we wanna put it back on. And we do that with all the pieces as we reassemble. <clears throat> now, what I'm doing over here, all right guys, what I'm doing over here is adjusting the throttle linkage. So here's the original linkage. See, there is a little, I think it's like a eight millimeter. Yeah, it's an eight millimeter nut here and right there. And I'm loosening those nuts on the linkage so we can turn this linkage to get it the exact same uh, length. Just wanna hold this one still. There we go, that'll just hold it still. I'll tighten that bottom one. There we go. And tighten our lock nut. And there we go. 
now what we have is duplicate linkage with the exact same angles. And actually, yeah, that's just about perfect. And there's a brand new cadmium plated linkage. Looks fantastic. So we're going to do that with each of our linkages here. See, here's the next link. And these actually... Oh, this one needs to be made a little bit longer. And then this linkage, this old linkage, is just going to be sent off to be cadmium plated for the next car. All right, guys, when you're putting this linkage back on the car, let's see. This one's going to go back there like that. And you want to make sure you drop a little ATF. You want to make sure you drop a little ATF in there. See how I'm putting some ATF in there? Before. <clears throat> I'm going to put some up here. Perfect. Okay, we got all our linkages attached with the exception of Bowden cable, which goes through here and attaches. And we need to put in our E clip right there. Whoops, put it on the wrong side. There we go. So it's important. See this tab right here? That, the lever needs to be on the driver's side of that tab because that's what pulls the Bowden cable. Now we need to put on our cruise control. Let's go ahead and get our Bowden cable attached. There you go. I, what I was doing, I was turning the adjustment nut right here. You turn that adjustment nut and it'll lengthen or shorten that Bowden cable a little. And you want to get it where you just have a millimeter of play at rest. All right. Got that on there. Now we're going to do our linkage from here to here. It actually goes to right there. And then we'll have our linkage that runs over to the uh, cruise control actuator itself. All right, guys, it's about an hour later. I've got the uh, cruise control actuator on, all the linkages, the power steering lines reconnected, the vacuum line up here, you can see that's all cadmium plated, uh, the oil cap, everything's hooked up up here. There we go on this 3-2 valve right here. There's some little levers that actuate with the throttle. So I'm going to lubricate that area. I'm going to use some white lithium grease, just get a little bit down in there. And that should be good forever, or at least until the next guy does this. Now we need to get the, uh, let's get a new air filter in there and get our air filter lid back on. And then we need to do our injector lines, the hard lines right in here.
All right, guys, I started this at nine this morning and uh, it's 530. So about eight hours to finish this job. Took me all day, but I think I've got it. Check out this engine compartment now. All the cadmium plating is correct. All the throttle linkage is reassembled. Works flawlessly, very smoothly. Everything's lubricated. The bushing in the firewall, that was replaced. Absolutely fantastic. Got the air cleaner back on here. Got a fresh filter in there. But that is what these engines looked like from the factory. Looks outstanding. So there we go, guys. That is the engine compartment video for this series. All right. Let's make sure all our vacuum connections are good before we put the dash back in uh, because we had to purge the system, purge the fuel system of uh, air and reconnect all our vacuum lines. Very nice. Everything is hooked up correctly. Man, that throttle is so smooth now that it's all been lubricated. Next video, I'm gonna be getting the dash back in the car and installing the original radio. And after that, this car is gonna be done. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Take care.